Work that body. Work that body. Make sure you don't hurt nobody. All right, he's good. Hey guys, it's Adam A.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Tomodachi Life. We're gonna start off with a quick news flash. The Inkling Girl is here for some fresh fashion. That works out. Aloha shirts. Okay. Let's see who is modeling them for us. It's Danny. And speaking of Danny, I'm hoping we're gonna have some romantic developments in today's episode as we steamroll our way ever so slowly <laughs> towards the conclusion of Tomodachi Life. Ooh, Danny and I both have problems. So last time, Freddy Fazbear used the Kitomatic to regain his lost youth, but he decided to spend it stomping around in puddles and building pillow forts, but I'm not gonna judge. <laughs> you guys could judge me though for wearing that mushroom hat. I don't know why my me put it back on. It looks horrible, but who knows? I haven't seen you for a he's uh, yeah, he's doing stuff cool. within the comforts of his own apartment, so don't judge him. All right. <laughs> I love something spicy. Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna be like, hey, I'm nervous about telling Danny that I love her, but no, he just wants something spicy. Do we have anything spicy in here? I don't know. Onion rings, not really. Oh, a red chili pepper. Uh oh, I think this has like a negative effect, but we'll see. It is spicy if he wants spicy. Let's see. Oh, he loved it. Okay. Is that his favorite, one of his favorite foods now with cherry pie and sashimi? I don't know. Well, he just enjoyed it. Okay. What do you got for me? Give me that mushroom hat and I'll take it away from you. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. I'm not, you know, the fastest runner either. I've got long legs, but I wouldn't say I don't run very fast. My me is just kind of downplaying his running ability. We scared Danny a little bit there. Let's see what she's up to. And then we're gonna check out what else is happening on the wow, island. My swimming birds look alike. I I'm sorry. Seen you in a I think the last time we checked in on her was when my me and her me fell in love. I need a formal hat. <laughs> Something that looks like a mushroom, maybe. No. A boater? That would look adorable. Um, how about a burglar's wool hat? There's a bunch of I don't know if some of these are formal. <laughs> a skull mask. <laughs> Let's give her the skull mask because we're not that far away from Halloween again. And uh, I can always get another one if we add the Skull Kid or something. But here you go. Skull Kid doesn't really have a skull face, which is kind of ironic. He does wear a skull mask in Ocarina. She absolutely loves it, as would the real life Danny. And she leveled up again. Okay, we should give her a cell phone if she doesn't already have one, because I know that is uh, it's recommended from a lot of people. A lot of you guys in the comments have said cell phones are key to eventually having a little me baby. And that's yeah, our goal here, as weird as it is. Okay, and that's how we get the credits at the end of the game, though, is by doing that. But we don't want to forget, a lot of you guys reminded me that we need to send Dracula into space. And he's, you know, somewhat on the way. Link is worried. I think he's fighting with someone. Probably not Professor Oak. Maybe Donkey Kong? I don't know. Pac-Man, you hungry, buddy? How you doing? We scared him. Pac-Man and the T-Rex have a very similar, like, head shape with their mouth being, you know... Just this giant space in their face. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. We're gonna have to tickle this pack. Let's do it. All right. I'm not that great at this. Where is his nose? I don't actually know. That's his mouth. Oh, I think we had it there for a little bit. There we go, we got it. Somewhere in his tongue region. <laughs> oh yeah, his nose is those two little dots there, I think. That's like his nostrils, but it's like in his tongue. He is a very strange anatomy. But if Pac-Man were real, I guess he would be weird as well. Okay, let's jump out. Yeah, Pac-Man like loves happen. his roast turkey that we gave him. Let's see. Ooh, a fan. Have we used the fan before? I think we might have. There's a few items that I don't think we've done anything with. Let's give my guy the fan. He is on the phone, making important mushroom-related business deals. <laughs> All right. So my guy already has a cell phone, which is good. Let's try this fan out. I think it's in here. We might have already used one. Look at the little face on it. <laughs> it's very weird looking, but it's happy. Okay. Fans are cool. Now I'm gonna be cool too. <laughs> Fans are cool. That would help out in the middle of August. She sells seashells on the seashore. Ooh, that's creepy. Let's change the speed here. Oh, a little faster. Maximum speed. I'm so cool. <laughs> His cheeks are just like blah, 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 flapping, <laughs> probably. All right. I think he's having fun. He's doing the old Darth Vader trick where you speak into the fan. But yeah, it has been so nice and breezy extra now. warm here, and I'm sure on Delmino Island, it's, it is an island, so it's probably hot as well. We are level 9. I don't know if this is my highest leveled me. What could we give this guy? He could, uh, fishing seems like it would be good this time of year, but it is going to be a little colder later. Punching bag. I actually 
This is something I don't really talk about, but I exercise by doing a punching bag. I got one in my basement. I've been doing that since I was like in middle school. And this is just a fun way to, you know, to, there we go. He's kicking it, jeez. <laughs> He's going crazy. You don't want to kick that fast, man. You need to stretch a little bit. You're going to wear yourself out. And he's getting his uh, his dukes ready. There he goes. Work that bag. <laughs> Work that body. Work that body. Make sure you don't hurt nobody. All right. He's good. Should we help out? Oh, it is Lincoln Donkey Kong. They're in a fight. And there's the go there goes the potty. You know, <laughs> you know, things are intense when someone gets the training potty out and just, you know, throws it at the other person's face. <laughs> All right. Bunny Man versus Bunny Monkey Ape. Let's see if we can help him out, little Link. Hmm, I don't know if we have anything to cheer him up. We probably could have given him the, the fan. It would have worked well. But what else do we have in here? We could feed him if he is hungry. Let me look real quick. You got any? Yep, he has an empty belly. And he could use some escargot. This one seems like, kind of like the, the pepper, I think, would like make people have a fiery breath normally if they didn't want something spicy. But the escargot, I feel like, could be... Something that a me would either either love or hate. I've never you or had an escargot myself, but I do wonder if it's good or not. I feel like somebody, you know, we wouldn't eat it if someone didn't like it. Obviously. How about some spring rolls? He's just come on. He's a growing boy, though. I there was a comment that mentioned the reason why Link wouldn't use the adramatic to grow up in the last episode was because he is dating Midna, it's his sweetheart, and she's a kid too, so if he grew up he wouldn't be able to date her anymore, so that's why he's gonna stay a little kid, just like most of the old Zelda games. Alright, Donkey Kong. This is like a weird friendship. Donkey Kong needs to we need to get like a jungle interior for him. What are you gonna say? Okay, will Donkey Kong accept it? He looks all sweaty on his back there. <laughs> okay, good. Donkey Kong, you know, he's a gorilla and he's got a bad rep, but they're not so angry. They're just, you know, they're, they're pretty chill apes <laughs> compared to most. <laughs> all right. So they're happy. He might level up. Oh, very close. Okay. Let's go see what else is going on, on the island. I don't want to spend too much time fixing all these me problems because a lot of them will just resolve themselves if we leave them long enough. All right, and I, I looked at all the comments and suggestions on what else we could do on the island. We do have this little 3D image share area. It says it's open, but uh, I've never gone to it, but it's more like just, ooh, we're jumping out here. Yeah, you can like share stuff on Miiverse and things like that. So I don't know if that's what we want to do right now. And uh, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh no, I think we exited out of Tomodachi Life entirely because of that. You guys can see, oh, never mind. Zoom. There we go. We're back. But yeah, that's uh, that's just a way to share images and stuff. Like that's not anything that we really want to get into. But I had never tapped on it before because I knew I wasn't going to do anything with it. But that's one feature that you guys could see at least and and know that's what that does. I know a lot of people were like, "What does the plane do? Why does it say open all the time?" There's a few things. I think if we get a street pass with somebody, we can open up a campsite. Is what I've heard from you guys. But I don't know uh, how we're going to be able to street pass anyone. I don't really live near anyone that uh, has a 3DS that I know of and also that plays the game. Whoa! <gasps> Rubber waders! This looks like uh, a Mario Brother costume, obviously, but it also looks like the one in Smash Brothers, one of Luigi's alternate costumes. Let's buy one and maybe we'll unlock some alternate colors. That would be sweet because I hope there's a Mario color. I don't know if there is, but that would be awesome. Nice I'm going to give it to Mario anyways. And if we get some better colors, maybe Waluigi can have one as well. We've got so many Miis, I know a lot of people say we should add Luigi and stuff like that. If we ever add Snake, I'll grab this eye patch just in case <laughs> from Metal Gear. But yeah, th there's, there's so many Miis already, I really feel like I should focus on who we have. But we could still add people. I'm just trying to, you know, make my way to the end of the game. That would be perfect for Samus if we could buy it. Or does she already have one? I cannot remember. <laughs> She has some type of spacey interior. There she is. Speak of the devil. She's uh, she's out here trying to sell some shorts that I would not want to wear. But no judgment, Isabel, if you want to buy those. Let's see what's going on with the news. But yeah, Samus has some type of cool interior. We'll, we'll see in a second. Oh. A fish that was considered just a legend oh. has finally been found swimming around Domino Was that a ponyo? The Moish research team fished oh. after much hard work and paddling around. I forget who's... Oh. The fish has the scientific name Inagaski. <laughs> 
It's so named because it has a constant surprise look on its face. <laughs> Mr. Moish, who discovered the fish, had this to say. I forget whose last name. It looks so surprised all the time, but not quite as surprised as I must have looked when I saw it. The Midnas. Yes, the the Midnas are, are swimming now. upstream mm -hmm. to uh, to lay their oh, eggs. <laughs> Poe po kind of distilled that down. All right, but yeah, the yeah I forget whose last name is that. I completely oh Carol, Carol is the name of the wild thing. I forget that. That's like a weird obscure fact. There he is, or she. I think it's a guy, but its name is Carol. It's it's very confusing. Also, his horns are eyes, which is bizarre. Oh, I was gonna check on yeah, I'm gonna check on Samus and also give Mario his new overalls. He can finally look more like a true Mario bro. Where is Samus? She's in here. There she is. Yeah, she does have like a future interior, sort of. She doesn't need that space station necessarily, so that'll be okay. Here's Mario. Oh, he's not here. He's hanging out with Midna. <laughs> he's he's getting in. He's like, you know, pushing in on Link's sweetheart. Hopefully that is uh, not going to cause some strife between the two Watch biggest Nintendo characters. Oh, sorry. But guess what, buddy? It's finally time to not wear that cat suit. We can find it's a costume or something maybe somewhere in here there it is all right let's see mario that almost it kind of reminds me of the ice flower costume as well but he doesn't have the red overalls oh he doesn't like it that's very ironic maybe it's because of the colors keep it on though you're wearing it <laughs> do we have any we don't have any hats that would really fit with it though that's the problem you try to get the right type of hat and uh, the right type of clothing Ooh, actually, whoa! Uh, did I buy this on purpose? Because this kind of looks like Mario's hat. It's about as close as we're probably gonna get. There we go. <laughs> he does love that, because that is the right color. All right, we just gotta embroider a little M on there. And he leveled up, cool. Mario only has a treadmill and a baseball bat. So what else could we give him? Mario's, uh, I was trying to think of other things, because the tennis, oh, there we go, golf club. The tennis racket would be good as well, and the baseball bat. Mario's just into all sorts of sports. Even just being a referee, during punch out people tend to misunderstand me hmm. i really have the best intention well i think most people think you you've got good intent <laughs> what what weird secret dark <laughs> truths are you hiding mario that people are misunderstanding you i thought you were a pretty good guy who is mr Rossetti? oh no there's a lot of oh uh, this one just popped up the terminator's got a problem his movie didn't do as well at, at the box office as he hoped for <laughs> let's see oh i'll be back What's going on? Is there a leak in your steam pipe back there or something? That sounded weird because he's a robot, so... <laughs> a leak in your steam pipe. <laughs> he's hungry. Alright. How about... We don't have any future uh, human re rebellion leaders, which is usually what he would eat. But maybe he'll have some smoked salmon. <laughs> Terminators don't eat. We don't have some oil cans or anything lying around, but... There he goes. This is a pretty decadent meal that even a robot could enjoy. He really likes fish, I've noticed, because I've given him sashimi and salmon. So there we go. All right. So I think that's about it for today. It doesn't look like anyone is going to further their relationship. I'm taking a snooze, and Danielle's just pondering Halloween. Oh, she's getting a little sleepy, too, or sick or something. Purple always makes me think of sick, like a poison status effect. <laughs> the skull mask is slowly poisoning her. We could go check out the homes real quick, because this is where we would go if we were going to get some news about babies, but... They're just hanging out. We can only talk to them in their own apartments. They have to run back to their apartments that for some reason they keep paying the rent on even though they have their own house. Strange. But yeah, my goal is to, ha I want to have the first baby be from my little me, hopefully. Thank you guys for watching. Mario and Peach are practicing their golf swing in what looks like a tennis court, or like a, a racquetball court or something. But that's cool. They're just hanging out and they both look a little bit closer to their in-game counterparts in real life or fake video game life. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Next time we will do a little more exploring on uh, on Delmino Island, see what else is happening, and also hopefully we'll have some love <laughs> happening. Forgot about those shorts. Sorry, Hermione, I'm not gonna buy those. See you guys next time for more. Goodbye.